Your other client for your firm, Juan Miranda, is not here. That's what I hear. All right. Which is good because I have nothing, no idea what's going on with that one. All right, court is calling 2022 CR 6395, State of Texas versus Matthew Bergeau. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Andrew Harris, State of Defense. Doug Campbell for Mr. Bourgeau, uh, Bourgeois. <laughs> uh, can I have a file stamp, please, for a motion to revoke? Thank you. Showing you what's entitled motion to revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Are you the same Matthew Dwayne Bourgeois who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 6395 for the offense of fraudulent use of possession of identifying information, 10 to 49 items, on August 29, 2023, for a term of five years? Is that you? Yes, Your Honor. State? On or about the 15th day of April 2024 in Bear County, Texas. My apologies, Your Honor. In Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Matthew DeWayne Bourgeois, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of February and March 2024 in violation of condition number four. State waives the remaining violation allegation. Any objections to the waivers? No, Judge. All right. Then to the offense of, I'm sorry, to the allegation of violation of condition number four, how do you plead? True or not true? True, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true and sentence you up to five years in prison? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, Your Honor. Is there a pro proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. Continue on probation, deny VOV reporting, transfer case to residing county, and complete court ordered IOP with supervising county. All right, so which county is this? Uh, the Chambers, Chambers County, Your Honor. All right, so why why didn't he report? That's the that's the million dollar question, or maybe the two dollar question. Judge, it sounds like he was living in a different county. It might have been a little bit difficult for him, even though it might have been video reporting. Um, I think having him report in person is, is a better option for Matthew. So why didn't he report? Uh, you want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. I'm Matthew Bourgeois. Why didn't you report? I just, I was having trouble keeping my phone on at the time. And my probation officer understood that and everything and tried to work with me. All right. So why didn't you go to a pay phone or go somewhere else? It was video. It was video. Well, no, I mean, did you call that officer and say, hey, I'm having trouble video reporting? Well, he, he, knew, he knows that because uh, I had trouble in the uh, past reporting. No, uh, if he knew that, then why? And this is what call for speculation. But if he knew that you had trouble reporting by Zoom, then why would they file a motion to revoke and their motion to revoke is based on the fact that you didn't report. Well, it, it, I was able to report. I mean, he knew, he knew that I had trouble in the past reporting and I was able to report eventually. What is this reporting eventually? You're required yeah. to report once a month. Yes, 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 Your Honor. I know. Uh, this was in the previous year, uh, 2000, or it was in probably October. November. No, this is February 2024 and March 2024. You're not reporting. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but in October, November, I couldn't report. Judge, I, this uh, might have been one of those situations where the probation officer might might have just got to the point where he was you know, unable to work with my client any longer. And my client would ask that you uh, allow him to move to Chambers or report in Chambers County and appear by video uh, but in person rather all right any what, that, what that would do is it would allow him not to have that issue any longer all right any objection to the court reviewing the court summary no judge all right so in the court summary this is what it says and there are various text messages so your phone being off if your phone were off the text message wouldn't go through the email yeah it wouldn't go through um, and it, I, if if your phone were disconnected so it says, 
counselor, I mean, in March, counselor called client to try and get him scheduled for his outpatient program, but was directed to voicemail. Counselor left message asking client to call her back and that she will be attempting to call again tomorrow, March 14th. And then failure to report and pay letter was sent. So that's sent by mail, a letter to you. So they've been trying to get in touch with you. And then they did a final warning letter sent to the defendant on March 14th. So four four two six, Your Honor. No, I mean they sent a letter to you, and they also called. So if the call was going to an improper number, they spent sent a letter to you. And if you were living in another county, then the next question becomes: Was he given permit permission to reside in another county? I don't know. I was working out of town. No, the question is: Did the court give you permission to reside in another county? So that's another violation. I'm not going to consider it because it hasn't been alleged. But he wasn't supposed to be in another county anyway. He was given permission to reside in Jefferson County. At uh, the time of sentence. All right, so Jefferson County. And where you were, was that Jefferson County? I was living with my mother in Chambers. Chambers. So we have a lot of moving around. His mom is here shaking her head. No, I don't know. Is that his mom? It is. She has her hands on her hips. I think she wants to say something. Didn't work out for me last time, Judge. I think I'll just go with this witness. Okay. I mean, if you want to call her, you can. I, may I ask a couple of questions? Sure. How was it that you, you came to Chambers County or ended up in Chambers County? Was, uh, my mom didn't want me around the people I was living in. And, and she lives in Chambers? Yeah. And that's where you would like to report for probation? Yes, Your Honor, if the judge does me. Let me, ask, one more time. let me ask you this. Do you foresee any issues in living in Chambers County if this case, if they reporting requirement was transferred to chambers and was in person. I have a I have a good support system. I would be with my mother and I do have a job. What do you do for a living? I have a construction construction line. How old are you? I'm 34. All right. So do you want to call his mom? It appears that she wants to say something to the court. Yes, Judge. Which mom? Sharon Bourgeois. I'll call Sharon oh. Bourgeois. All right. You need to stand over there. I have a moment to figure out what she's going to say. Sure. Again, it didn't work out for me last night. Okay. All right. You want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Sure. All right. Could everyone please whisper? All right. There's something you wish to say. Uh, yes, from uh, so nice you have been. Trouble has on the, I'm sorry, you're going to have to pull uh, that down so she can hear and I can hear because I can't hear. He's been in trouble and on um, probation. Uh, he was, he's been residing with me. He's working. He, he's been working. He was doing great. I was so proud of him. Everybody was proud of him. I was still proud of him because he's deep in his habits. But I really would like to have him home and he could report him. Chambers County. Okay. Uh, he has a good support system. He has three brothers. Uh, he's got nephews and nieces galore. And we just want him home, please. All right. And what is his issues? His issues? Uh, well, one of them I didn't know about was reporting or paying. Uh, no, I mean, does he have drug issues? He's Here's the thing. He's 34 years old. He's a grown man. He should know to report. But I'm other than I'm talking about personal issues. Are there drug issues? What kind of issues does he have? He was he was taking Kratom with himself in a vape store. That was an issue. Uh, the first time he commented from here, he was very excited. He's off the Kratom. Okay. He was still at it because of with me, it's a drug free environment. His brothers, it's a drug free. Okay. And, um, and he has a job there. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. You can come back up. Judge, I, I think you can see from my, my client's demeanor 
he is willing to do whatever this court wants the court except before do. well he will report now he just was having issues before. probation what are you requesting what would like the opportunity All right, I'm going to give you a choice. I can sentence you to five years in prison. That's the max amount of time I can sentence you. Or I'll deny the motion, but you're going to ISF. And then after ISF, it'll be IOP. And then you can reside in chambers with your mom. So which do you prefer? Uh, ISF. Um, I have a question, Your Honor. What is IOP? Hmm? What is IOP? Oh, intensive outpatient treatment. Sorry. All right. So, um, Ms. Abrams, I'll deny the motion to amend conditions to include ISF with IOP after completion and then reside in chambers. Uh, which one is the least amount of time? He just needs a regimented routine. All right, state ISF. Is there anything else? Oh, George. All right, thank you. All right, how, how many, how long is that? I'll just okay, Does I'm it really matter how long it is? Because let me just tell you, if you're waiting in jail for transfer to a program, you could be waiting in jail to go to prison. Time is still going to pass, whether you're doing what you're supposed to do or not. You understand? That's right. All right. Thank you.